Do you know if you have one scoop of whey, you absorb 98% of the protein in it? But if you have soya chunks, you only absorb 55% of the protein it has. This was quite a shocking claim, so I checked for the references and couldn't find any. Someone even asked for references in the comment section and he replied, you can Google or check PubMed, question mark, laughing emoji. That's not all that helpful, so I asked as well. And this is where it got interesting. He replied saying he just sent it across, but I checked my DMs and I had nothing from him and I asked him to just post the link in the comments because other people are interested as well. After more back and forth, he finally said that the 55% number was an oversimplification and that the PDCAS and Diaz scores for soy protein is around 1.0 or 100%. However, it's worth noting that these scores aren't just a measure of digestibility and there are numerous limitations. But more importantly, how do you oversimplify simplify 100% down to 55%. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. And let's reiterate that to this point, he has not provided a single reference for his claims and this clip went mega viral. Nevertheless, I did some digging into the limited research we have on the digestibility of soy chunks, also known as textured soy protein, and it looks like it's at least 85%, if not higher. And the available human data we have on soy protein isolates suggest that digestibility is over 90% and comparable to animal proteins. But there may be some differences between the digestibility of soy chunks and a soy protein isolate. Either way, with the limitations of the available research, I couldn't find anything that even remotely supported the idea of a 55% digestibility. And finally, it's not even clear if these differences in digestibility matter. Vegan diets, where all the protein comes from plants, have been shown to support comparable muscle and strength gains to more animal-based diets, as long as they're getting the same amount of protein. If these proposed digestibility differences mattered, we should see differences in results, but we don't.